Uh, welcome back, everyone, to an episode of Morocco. Oh, so, guys, we are at war! War, I say, against the formidable foe of Oman. Or really, just the people I'm just gonna destroy and pretty much cast out of all rel relevance to this world. So, let us begin. Ah, dang. Okay, there's one thing I'd like to comment right now. Is that I'm still kind of the new size window with this game. Now that I've had to go on a, now that I have to go on a little bit, you know, smaller size in terms of how this looks. Eh, I don't know if it does it for me or if it's just like really cocky. Do I really want to keep going down this path? Do I want to go down this path? Not really. I really need to catch up to here. I've been blowing this off for a long time, but we really need to catch up. But anyways, we have three diplomats, which is not good. Let's start doing some stuff. Russia's our, our rival. We won't even mess with them. Sweden is our friend, but he insanely hates us right now, which is not good. So, let's go improve relationships with you guys. I don't know what we did, but <laughs> you guys still love us, so let's still be friends. And, by the way, who... Oh, yeah, the... Uh, yeah. So, I guess, it's been a couple days for me, guys, so I'm trying to re-catch up and do all that kind of stuff. And I know I should probably do it off-screen. Yeah, it's a personal union. won't even be worth it. Uh, probably should improve relationship with Great Britain just because it's Great Britain and Great Britain usually ah is usually a great power at some point so you usually want to make sure that they're happy with you and there we go and yeah oh yeah my map my manpower size is not as big as the Russians too yeah we're pretty powerful in this game <laughs> oh yeah. okay we just got a new technology and yeah we're invading the Oman yeah it's been a couple days so guys um okay so yeah we're destroying so superiority to France Dang, friend. why are you picking on me, friends? I've done absolutely nothing to you. Like, literally, for once, I don't think I've done anything to harm you. Accumulate money. Huh. 2,000. No. That's not worth 2,000 bucks. Born, I know exactly where that is. That's not going to happen. Um, religious unity. It might happen if I have a mil uh, missionary strength, but even then, it's going to be really weak. This is... This is gonna take forever, guys. Like, honestly, this is gonna take forever. And I know 77 turns is not the best, but that's probably the best we're gonna get. Anyways, I was just about to say, just in real-time terms, I'm, like, right now doing a lot of, um... Well, right now, for me, I'm just doing a lot of watching some anime. You know, I have recently got into that kind of stuff, just like, you know, I should say... Sweden, you want an alliance back. I, I didn't even know we didn't even have one. I thought we still had it. But yeah, I've been just watching a lot of anime, you know, like I've been watching some of the classics like um, Cowboy Bebop and, you know, tri I, I consider Trigon a classic. So yeah, Trigon and, you know, all these things. And, you know, it's been, it's been honestly pretty awesome. Uh, some, of, some of the stuff still holds up today, which is really good. You know, when you remember it as a kid, you're like, I should probably keep the game going while I'm talking. So, you know, you always imagine when you're little... As you know, you don't quite know if it's really that good or if it's really bad or anything like that because your mind always will perceive it as being the best thing ever. Because, oh my goodness, I'm a little kid, and you know, everything is the best thing ever when you're a little kid. Has anyone ever noticed that? Like, almost everything in when you were little was like the best thing ever. When you went to when you went to the store, it was like the best thing ever. When you okay, Iraq wants peace. Okay, so I know what I I think for Iraq, I was either gonna annex them or I wanted to just flatly make them my vassal. Can I make them my vassal right now? I could make it my vassal. We have anyone annexing right now because I don't want to do this while I'm annexing someone. Well, I want to do this while I'm annexing. Sorry, sorry, that's the wrong phrase. Because I want to make sure that okay, so we have three people that are alliances, one royal marriage, one vassal. We only have one vassal right now. So I guess taking Iraq, hmm, annexing them completely or just oh come on, he westernized off of me. Oh, that's me. Okay, stupid moment of today. Okay, but yeah, just been watching lots of anime. I, I was just gonna cut this short. Cut this short version. Watching a lot of anime, really fun. You know what? You're gonna convert to my religion before I before I actually convert you and make you a part of my empire. You guys are gonna give me money. You guys are gonna convert me to to my religion. There we go. Cause I don't feel like converting those provinces. I'm sorry, but you guys need to handle that by yourself. Okay, next thing the boots. Uh, no, I don't really care. Yeah. And, like I said, it's been really fun just watching anime, watching all these little shows and all that kind of stuff. And yes, if that does consider me to be unpopular in some people's eyes, I don't really care. <laughs> Never really cared about that kind of stuff anyways. 
So anyways, yeah, that's what I've been doing up till to date. And there were a couple, like, there were a ton of good shows out there for anime. Like, I didn't realize how much there were of good shows until I actually just started sitting down and watching. And there are a ton of good shows. Just a ton. You know, it just shocks you sometimes to see how many good shows there are out there. Oh yeah, and then I have my people over here. Just out there, you know, just inhabiting the world. It's just so amazing. And then all the creative, like, shows that came out there. I mean, one of the... You know, one of the most recent shows I've watched is the, uh, okay, don't laugh at anyone, but I've been watching the new ki the new show, Kill a Kill, and, yeah, I know it's not exactly the show I would, you guys would probably be like, eh, James watches that? Because it's probably a little bit out of my character, especially since I'm very much a morally, as a morally-esque person. But yeah, I've been watching that show, and it's been actually pretty good. I mean, I don't watch it for, like, the, uh obvious reasons of the fan service. I watch it actually for the story, and the story is actually not that bad. Uh, until you get to the later parts. I mean, it was getting a little bit, it does get a little bit slow in the beginning, but once you get into the later parts, it actually does have a pretty intriguing plot with some really twisted characters. Just want to say that right now. If you if you guys have ever, if you guys are ever going to go into that kind of genre, it has some pretty twisted characters. Oy. But yeah, that's Kill a Kill for you. It has <laughs> some of the most it's over the top, fantastic, and honestly a great show to watch. Now, out of Oman, what do we want to give these guys? Well, we obviously want to get some of our cores that we got from for our little vassal. Return the cores. No. Oh yeah, well, I was. Oh yeah, I know what I was gonna do. I was gonna occupy this. Wait. Wait, is Mantua not one of my vassals? Vassal. Yes, you are my vassal. Okay, so I don't know. Improve relationships with these guys. I don't know why they're not they're not saying vassal. Anyways, um Ooh, we don't have any free diplos right now. That's not good. Let me get one of my diplos back. Let's get the one back from England. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so now let's see what else do we have to do today. Uh we are running out of money. Hmm. Well, not a big concern considering I'm an all powerful person. I don't really concern myself with all this kind of money. I mean, at this point in the game, I'm basically a superpower and no one else is gonna stop me from doing anything I want. Okay, kill these guys already, sheesh. All right, you know what? Since they're, they're weak enough at this point, let's just carpet siege. I'm just gonna, actually, you know, I'm gonna carpet siege with one army because I don't wanna like split them up and then have to like deal with all the little stuff. Well, actually I'll split them up right here because this is a pretty, a pretty easy army to split up because it's just small. Oh, I mean, I'm gonna hate you. If you guys try to do that, I'm just gonna attack you right now. Oh, and if you try to do that... Yeah, either way you go, you're dead. <laughs> oh. Well then. Go right there. See if I care. I don't care about... I don't care about those green people right there. I care about just this land I'm gonna occupy. So, yeah. The joke's on you, huh? Okay, so let's go... Let's see... Let's give it a second. I guess I have to wait a second because I should be able to. This is way too much army for just one siege. Hmm? Wait. Why are they not sieging the land? Hmm. There? No, he's still not sieging the land. Okay, that's kind of weird. Okay, I guess I'll use this army then. I guess it doesn't really matter that much, but it's just kind of weird. Why are we not sieging up this land? Hmm. I don't know. Well, anyways, like I said, we're going to try to, like, get some land over here for our vassals to, you know, nobble, nobble on. And then from there, what we're going to try to do is just casually... I feel like this army's not really existing right now, this sphere, so I'm just going to move it out. Alright, but yeah, we're just going to casually, like, you know, do stuff with it. Let's see, where are they gathering up the big death stack? Not really anywhere of importance. Okay. And let's just keep moving down right there. Yeah, we're going to make sure these guys can't produce any more men. By the way, they have actually a military out. So where's my ships? <laughs> oh, there you are, Hit Karax. Okay. Go crush, the, go crush them. Because I want, I want, the, they're kind of annoying me right now. And I really need to go crush these guys. Ah, man. Okay. And yeah, there's like these one troops that just keep like going everywhere, which is kind of annoying me. Let's just go right here. Yeah, but I should be able to I should be able to siege up everything. Which should be nice. 
yeah, look at that. I'm just gonna siege up everything and have it all nice. Oh my goodness. Carpet sieging, one of the best things they ever invented in this game. I mean, it honestly makes life so much easier and so much nicer. Okay, and I can't carpet siege anymore because I'm a little bit too big. Oh, the Omni Nationalists! Oh no! I so should have done something about that. It wasn't like it was an important thing. Oh, cool. shoot, we actually got something converted? Oh wait, no we didn't, we, they just conquered me. Okay, everyone, go kill the Ar go kill the Armenians. Yeah, I'll go have you go army stomp. Go kill the Armenians! It sounds cool, but seriously, they're kind of annoying now. Okay, let's go over here. And all that army, I don't know where that army is going, but it's not very helpful, and I'm so glad those Moroccoian rebels are not thinking about crossing over into my land, because that would really stink. <laughs> like... I, I don't know if you guys know this, but having 30 national rebels at any point in time is never a good idea, but for these guys, it is like terrible. They have literally rebels. The, the rebels are more powerful than they are. Hey Jade, you better not do anything. Like seriously, you better not break up my vassal, because, uh, well, not my vassal, you better not break up my land. You can take these three provinces and that's it. Sweden has called you to arms against France. <sighs> Okay, so France, Brittany, Austria, and Milan. You gotta be kidding me, Sweden. Did you make no friends? Oh my goodness, you like angered the entire world. So did France, but less so. Like, you're more hated right- Sweden, you're more hated right now than France! And Russia! And Brittany! What did you do?! You know, to be honest, I really don't want to deal with this right now. I, I know, I know this is going to affect my relationships with these guys, but I don't want to be fighting... Oh my goodness. I'd be fighting not only the French, I'd be fighting the Austrians, I'd be fighting... Every I don't really want to fight this war. I'd be fighting Aragon. This seems like one of those wars that I really should just sit out. <laughs> like I, uh, what do you even give? What are you even doing? The Sweden nation's favor is a question you need. In the second conquest of Baden, you got wait, Sweden, you got dragged into this because of Baden. Give me one second. Okay, so ledger relations, current wars. Let's see. Defender Sweden, Bavaria, Alice. And he say, yeah, you don't even, and you don't even have powerful allies. Well, I don't know. Bavaria and Hesse might be good. Let me. S okay, the only way this is gonna change my mind is if Bavaria and Hesse have a decent army size. If they do, then maybe I'll join in. If they don't, then I won't. So total thirty six. Okay, and Austria has right now at this point forty one. So I guess Hesse. I mean Bavaria is about the same as them. So I guess they would cancel each other out. So I guess I wouldn't have to work that hard at it. Um, what about Hesse though? Hesse has to be a big contribute. Oh my goodness. Yes, but then again, if I were to call in my allies of the Hungarians, and then like, hmm, this is actually a pretty even war, especially when you bring me into it, so. You know what? I'll just stop this recording right here for a second so I can decide off screen. So see you guys in a second. Okay, I've decided. Let's go for it. Let's let's stick it to the Europeans, guys. This has been what the series has been about for a long time. And let's get all of our ships down to down the sea quick. Dock up. Okay, any other ships we have? Okay, everyone. You're my attack fleet, right? Correct? Thank you. You guys, dock. Well actually these guys are okay. Well actually no they are, because they could go out of the sea. So everyone dock up. I'm gonna have all my ships dock up before I do anything. Everyone dock up. Just everyone dock up. Ooh. Okay, that's not exactly a good battle right there. 34 versus 16. Okay, well, let's see. How are we doing in terms of ships? I significantly outnumber them, so actually, I could. Oh, wait a minute! Wait, 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 wait. Did Austria not join in? Wait, this is probably like the beginning days of the war. Give us a second. No? Austria didn't join in? Yes! Oh, 
Oh yeah, okay, so maybe this is just France, so yeah, this should be actually pretty easy. Okay, so that's probably their war fleet right there, so send those guys in. Send these guys in, both of my attack fleets to go over here. Um, 18 versus 37, actually, you know what? It would probably be more useful if we send them down over here. Actually, no way. It'd be more useful if I send these guys over here, then go send these guys down here. The battle should still be raging by the time my ships go down there, because this is going to be a big battle, guys. This isn't going to be some little tiny itty bitty battle. This is going to be a big battle. Okay. Oh, that's why I can't annex you. Okay. That's why you didn't show... That, that's why. Okay, I, I was wondering why... So, I guess every single... Oh, I see. Cancel protected. Can I do that? A prestige reduced by zero, and I'll listen to a person. Hmm. Do I do that? Sure. Oh. Okay. Well. Yeah, now that that happened, let's see. Well, marriage. Let's see. Let's see. Offer of facilitation. Shoot. Okay, so. Yeah, that, did, that didn't quite work out in my favor. I thought I was going to be able to establish a protectorate there. Yeah, protectorates are completely useless. <laughs> I, I thought I thought it was more of a conquesting kind of nation, but apparently it was more of like a jip deal. Yeah, don't don't whenever whenever it offers you to get a protectorate, never accept it. It's one of the worst ideas ever. Okay, so now we're just gonna fast forward through this, and sh what should we do about a it, dang it, dang it. Okay, yeah. Okay, everyone, stop stop trying to patrol waters and get inside. Okay, get inside land. Get inside my life safety sphere of land. Okay, until I can get my attack fleets everywhere, do not do anything stupid. Okay, by the way, attack fleet, what are you guys doing? Getting starved. Go back over here. We need you guys alive, so please stay alive. Okay. Poor government policies. Ah, shoot. Happened at the worst time. Mantua wants an alliance. Sorry, guys. I'm probably going to go to war with you guys here Because somehow... Somehow I don't... I don't understand it. I, I like the old system where you can vassalize and then re vassalize them. Yeah, they kill my they kill those ships, I know. Don't worry though, I'm sending a more powerful attack fleet after them. They're not gonna escape. <laughs> oh, I can't wait till that attack fleet attacks. So anyways though, what do we want out of Oman again? We want some land. That's all we want from them, so we can feed Hemin Yemen some land. So why so I guess what I plan to get out of this, I guess I should be saying. I just finished up with one of my colonies, I think. Is that what they were saying? No, they weren't saying I was finishing up with one of my colonies. Uh, they were saying, let's see, yeah, I still have four colonies. So, yeah, not finished up with one of my colonies. Still have ships dying somewhere. Oh my goodness, did they just destroy my 55? Hmm. Ah, so, guys, remember what you say about upgrading ships. It's very important that you do that. Well, that just means now it's time to build new ships. Luckily, I already have really good ports. In fact, is it Constantinople like a really good port to start building stuff? Yeah, it is. 233 days. Oof. Okay, yeah. Let's just start building... While we're here, let's start building a new fleet. Just so that in the future we have much more firepower. Anyways, let's keep moving on. Yeah, they, they just keep destroying everything I have. What? How did the... Am I not supporting my fleet right now? Is that what's happening? No, I'm supporting my fleet, but it's just dying. Which is really kind of peculiar. I have a gen- I have a general too, which is really weird. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really getting lost here with the whole naval facility. Because I just lost, like, literally all my navy in just a quick sec. Wait a minute, what level is France in terms of navy? Hmm. Actually, comparatively, I'm actually not on par. Great. So I just entered in this war that was completely unprovoked and completely not my fault. Actually, France is getting a butt whoop, so never mind. I just have to make sure they don't start trying to invade me and I should be fine. And after this, I'm probably going to have to upgrade my men anyways, because you know what? We probably should have done that from the beginning. So, hey, this is all good. The season is guards over the Civil War. Siege, siege, siege. Yeah, create a proper fleet. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> My fleet kind of got blown up in a big ball of bloom, so let's see. Let's go send you a diplomatic message. I want you to give me this, this, uh, this. Uh, let's see. Is anyone I can release? Hmm. 
how many cores is Najit? Actually, I don't think I could support a vassal in Najit if I really think about it. But, Najid, Najid, Najid. Oh, I guess I'll have to figure this out next time, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.